Hey, this is Wes McDermott, and welcome to another Unity Cookie Quick Tip video. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about making a scene manager, or um, a global class that we can use between scenes. And to do this, we're going to talk about using static members in a C-sharp class, or C -sharp, excuse me, a C-sharp script. So uh, let's take a look at how that would work. I'm going to show you just a quick example. So I've got this kind of blank scene here. Let's just go ahead and run this little demo here. And what I have, as you can see, I've got a scene running called Scene 2. And it's got a little input text field and two buttons. So let's let's input some text here. So we'll say this is hello from scene zero one, and I'm just going to click this commit data button. So what I've done here is I've had this uh, kind of a, some user value inputted text, and I've saved that to uh, a scene manager object. And now what I want to do is click this button to open a new scene. So I'm going to click this button, and it's going to open a new scene. So now you can see that we're in scene 02. I've got a little uh, GUI text input, or um, excuse me, just a GUI text file um, component here. And when I hit this print user data button, we're going to see some value come up. So if I hit print user button, you can see that the information, hello from scene 01, that I saved to that global scene manager object is now uh, also available to us in scene 2. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about how I go about doing that. And so um, here we are. Actually, we have scene 01 open. We've got uh, two scenes, like I said, 01 and 02. We've got a scene manager. So this is our global uh, scene manager com uh, script. And we've got just two simple scene 1 and scene 2 scripts. And so in scene 1, we've got a main camera. Nothing special there. We've got the scene ID. All that guy is just a GUI text uh, just to let you know. It just Basically, if you look at the game view, it's just showing you what scene we're at. And then finally, we've got this empty game object here that just has a uh, scripts button on it. Here we have the scene manager. Let's just go ahead and remove this component. We don't even need this guy. And so we have this scene one script um, added on this guy. And so it gives us some user text input. So it has a user input text, so enter text. And then it has a little variable here called scene to load, which we type in the name of the scene, which is scene 02 that we want to load. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what scene one does. So we'll open up scene one, and we're in mono develop. And you can see that I have scene one. It's a mono behavior, and it's got, again, those public strings so that we can actually uh, change these values in our Unity editor. So enter scene to load. Uh, and then we have this scene to load, just public st string here. OK, uh, then what we have here is our uh, on GUI. So this is just using, just for this demo, I just used Unity's default uh, GUI system. And so what I did was I created a, a user input text field. So that, again, using the reference of this string here at the top, and I equal that to the GUI.txt field, give it a, a new rect. So this is just basically showing you know where it is in, in space there, uh, or where it is on the screen. Set it to the user input text. Uh, and then I have the two buttons here are inside this, these two if statements. So if GUI button, uh, here's the rec that shows position on the screen. It's called commit data. And then it does something here. Uh, GUI button, same thing, open scene. Uh, this rec shows where it is on the screen. And then finally, it does something here. Uh, OK, so the part of this that's really cool is that um, I'm using this scene manager class, which has two static uh, members. It has a static function, or excuse me, a static uh, variable called user data, and then it has a static function called open scene. Now, what's really nice about these static members is that you can call them without having to make, uh, without having to have uh, an instance of the class available to you. So it's something you can just call straight off the class, so no instance is needed. And so you'll notice that I don't have like a start function where I'm trying to like get component script uh, something like that I don't have any uh, any public variables where I'm making a reference to the script so I want to set this variable and I want to call this function but I don't have any reference to this class that I wrote so again that class here in unity is sitting right here in my scene manager something else that's kind of interesting is that you'll see here in my scene there, there's this scene, the script is not even added to any game objects or anything in my scene. But since it's uh, these members are static, and we'll take a look at that class here in a second. Since these two members, the variable and the function itself are static, I can call them straight off the class. Again, no reference needed. That's what a, a, that's what a static you know member is. So you don't need an instance of the class. And by doing this, I'm kind of following what's referred to as a singleton pattern. So that is basically a class that's only instance once in your entire scene. So it's just one instance, hence the word single ton of it. And it um, is something that I typically use for like say a scene manager. So if I have 
uh, some data that I want to save, like maybe it's some piece of score or uh, some type of uh, user input that I want to be able to carry with me as I open different scenes, what I do is I'll create the scene manager class and I'll set that variable as a static member and then I can set and use that variable as I'm switching through various scenes. And it's very handy because like I said before, I don't have to manage a reference or anything like that. It's just something that I could just save, you know, just directly by just accessing scene manager. Uh, same thing with this function. I can call this open scene function, which is part of this scene manager. Typically, when you see something like this singleton, it's it's basically what you're going to have a class that's uh, just made up of a bunch of utilities, like things like these little one-off things that you're going to use. And you can see that a lot if you take a look at the math f class. So math f is part of Unity, and so it is. Um, all of its um, functions here are static as well. So you can see that you know I can do all these math functions like clamp and uh, cosine and, and um, you know all this kind of stuff and it's basically like I said they're like these utility one-off things that I can use without having to create an instance of a class because you know it's just something that again you're really probably only going to use like just once real quick just to get some kind of information same thing I'm doing here I'm using this just one time just to set the user data or I'm using this just one time just to open this scene and so um, I find it very handy to be able to uh, send information from one scene to the next by doing this. So that's what this first scene's doing. It's got two buttons. The first button, when I commit data, all I'm doing is I'm saying, I'm going out to my scene manager and I'm saying, hey, scene manager, there's a user, user data field. I want you just to set my user input text to that. And then when they open the scene, I'm going and saying, hey, scene manager, um, you, I want you to open the scene. And by the way, I want you to open this scene to load that's set here. And so scene manager just does that for me. So let's go ahead and look at the scene manager itself. And you can see it's very simple. So again, it's a it's a public class of mono behavior, uh, and the thing that really makes this happen is I have two uh, static variables. So uh, again, I have the uh, static string of user data, and I have a static string scene to load. And then um, here you can see that actually I don't even need this guy anymore. This is this is uh, something old. I don't even need that. I've got one. So imagine you didn't see that. <laughs> this is just public static string user data. Uh, and so what happens is, is uh, this is what's set from that button, and this static string is accessible throughout different scenes. So I don't even have to do, like when I do a load level, I don't have to do load level additive or anything like that, because this static class, or excuse me, these static members, they, um, they don't have to be instantiated, so they, they're going to be... Um, they're going to be available to other scenes when I want to use them. Same thing with this static function. So here's the static function open scene, and you can see that um, it takes a parameter of type string, and I just, you know, name this scene to load. And then all it does is just call my application.load level scene to load, and it just loads that guy in. Um, here, I don't even need this in either. So here we go. This will make it nice and clean. And so um, you can see that all it's doing is just loading a level based off, you know, whatever the user puts into it. And so if we come over to the scene, uh, you can see that I just called that by saying scene manager, open scene, scene to load. And again, I'm getting this from this public string up here. And if I go back to Unity and we grab hold of our scripts and you can see one, scene one, here it is. So I just type that value in. So now when we come over to scene two, um, you can see that, uh, let's see, again, you get that user value that I have here, which is, uh, that's that, this is just a GUI text, so if we come over to our game console, you can see that it's just these little dash lines, and I just put that in here just for a placeholder, so I'm setting the text of this GUI text when we actually output the, um, the scene manager's user data. Then we have the scene ID again, uh, just a GUI text where I just change it to scene02. And then finally we've got its script. And see, its script does nothing. So it's basically scene2 and it has a user value and it's just basically a, a public uh, reference to that, that user value here. So you can see when I click on this guy, it's highlighting that. So let's go over to Mono Develop and take a look at that. So scene2, here, like I said, public GUI text, user value. And then on GUI, um, I basically have a button that I created again that says print user data. Here's the rec that shows where it is on the screen. And then finally, I say, hey, user value, which again, remember, is my public GUI text dot text. And then all I do, again, is go to scene manager dot user data. So here I am in another scene. Scene manager is not referenced anywhere in this scene at all. It, and because I can do that, because I'm actually pulling this, this um static member, this static variable from my scene manager, and it's also retained uh, as I switch scenes. So uh, I set that user data in scene one, 
load the new scene, and then from scene two, I can actually call scene manager again and get that user data that the person sent back in scene one. So I use this a lot. Like I said, this is kind of like thinking of a singleton pattern. It's the scene manager is kind of like this utility that helps me to manage uh, my information uh, as I move between scenes. So again, we'll take a look at this guy work. Uh, we'll just hit play on here, and uh, well, here I tell you what. Let's go back to scene one real quick. And we'll hit play on this, and we'll say Uni Cookie Rocks, and then we'll commit the data. So what just happened there, like I said before, if we go back to scene one, I commit the data by pressing this button, and scene manager .user data just just uh, was set to that user input text that I just put in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the open scene button and what it's going to do is going to call scene manager, it's going to open the scene and it's going to pass in that scene to load here. So it's just that scene to load public string that I'm setting. Uh, so then what we'll do is we'll go back to Unity and we'll say open scene. So scene 2 opens. I'm going to print my user data and you can see that Unity cookie rock shows up. So again we'll go back to scene 2 uh, we have a user value, just a reference to that GUI text, and then when they click the button, the user value.txt is set to scene manager data. So there you go. Hope you find this tip useful. Uh, scene managers, like I said, can be pretty uh, useful when you want to share data between uh, scenes without having to, um, you know, keep some type of, you know, valid reference or some type of, you know, reference or or adding load level additive or anything like that. So if you want to just be able to keep a global, uh, you know, user data or global score between several scenes, uh, using some static members is a is a good way to do that.